Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at Greenlight Hot Pursuit Series number 38, which is just insane to think about that we're on Series number 38 now. Um, I'm not entirely sure when they released the first series. Uh, I think it was like 2009, 10 maybe, something like that. Um, just do the math on that. If there's six cars in a set and there's 38 series and just in Hot Pursuit, that's how many police cars, not including all the other series, that's insane. Um, one day I'll be able to get the early series of Hot Pursuit um, because if you guys know anything about the Hot Pursuit series, good luck finding series one, two, three, whatever. Uh, it's near impossible. Nonetheless, we have a very fantastic series to look at here with, with a couple of new castings. Um, and we'll get into those in a little bit, of course. I, of course, pre-cut these open just to make my life a heck of a lot easier. Um, I guess we'll start right off with, I guess, the peg warmer, if you will. Um, I don't really get why, but this seems to be the one that's sitting on pegs. I should say, I got these from Walmart. Um, I can't find anything at any stores. I'm sure you guys are probably dealing with the same thing right now. Um... I can't even find mainline Hot Wheels, let alone green light. So I was very happy to find a set of green light there and I just scooped it. Um, but the first one we have here is this Las Vegas Nevada uh, 74 Dodge Monaco in a very, very bright yellow, something a little bit different. Uh, Hot Pursuit series really hasn't changed a whole heck of a lot. The early ones were a little bit different, but for the most part, it's pretty much stayed the same. Um, and then it has some interesting stuff so it's not too crazy just the cars and set let's hope 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 now these cars are broken or damaged they will definitely be oily um what the heck is that um and i i don't know if you can tell but um i actually got a brand new phone so we'll see how the video quality is here basing off what i can see it looks fan Fantastic. Um, do a little bit of packaging rub almost. That might might even come out. Yeah, it's coming out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I'm sure, if I, if I fought with that, it would come out. Um, very old tooling. What tooling number is this? 55. Oh, because they're not that old, but still fairly new. Or fairly, fairly old. Um, we do have a little bit of a blemish there, which I think is just gone because that'll come off. Can't tell what the heck that is. That'll come off. Um, yeah, I love this casting. It is a fantastic casting. Um, let's see if my camera will focus here. It's the first time I'm ever using this camera, so um, it looks great. Huge light bar. Let's see if I can get the hood open here there we go this orange motor there just a simple little cop car in a very bright color hard to see the number there but it's like 37 or 38 something um, so there is that one uh, what should we look at next we will look at something that I don't really care too much for. I don't really care much for the GTR in general, to be honest, um, but still pretty cool. This is Oceanside, California, R35 GTR. I'm sure this will sell pretty well. Everybody loves GTRs. Uh, we have a bit of a wonky wheel. This casting, I never, like, no disrespect to Greenlight, um, because I absolutely love Greenlight die cast um it's just this casting in particular is is not their strong suit i should say there we go um again very oily but just a quick wipe here and she'll clean up super nice um yeah i've been trying to get in contact with green light and on on improving their bill um their uh quality control issues um because, you know, we want nice die cast, and if they provide good, clean die cast, they're made well, we will buy it. 
So you got lens detail there. This is a good looking car, don't get me wrong, but it's just not for me. Not my favorite car, but still pretty cool. Very simple. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll look at this one here. One of my favorite uh, police castings. This police interceptor, Ford Explorer. And, of course, my favorite, Sterling Heights, Michigan. I love the Michigan police cars because I used to live in Michigan for a few years. So, these hit home for me. And the Michigan cars are, are very tricky to get a hold of. Um, these things always roll so well. I think there's a little bit of flashing. Oh, it's just a piece of glue. Yeah, there we go. These, this is one of the best rolling green lights there is, honestly. Um, wheels look fantastic. Nice light bar there. Inserted headlights. Very nice looking push bar. This is just a well executed looking police interceptor. I like to paint the details in the back, but that's totally okay. Michigan plates, of course. Just a nice looking uh, police car. The best one they make, honestly. Other than the Crown Vic. That's hard to beat. Um, so all we have left is the new castings. We'll get right into this one. Because I'm very excited to see it. This brand new Tahoe. Detroit, Michigan. Uh, General Motors fleet. So, again, Michigan cars. So I love that. This is a very, very popular casting already. People are buying it up. And let's take a look. This is my first time ever seeing it so far. Solid roller. Looks like it's got a bit of a rake to it. Like it sits like squatted almost in the rear. Um, I don't know if they're all supposed to be like that. Um, it's got a good amount of weight. Not too crazy. Um, so this is going to be like the Silver Auto, I assume. Um, where the higher end Silver Autos get like lens details. Where this one just has the whole grill is like one piece separate. That's put in there. Um, I think. Yeah, it's just painted details on the back. This is a great looking SUV. It'll obviously have a really dark tint. Because, um, oh, is this one a dark tint? Oh, it does. Yeah, I guess they all do. Except for Monaco. I thought it would have dark tint because it was a demonstrator. I like that light bar. This is a great looking casting. This is a, this is a win. That's right up there with the, that one. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Um, and then the other new casting is this Jeep Cherokee. This is a 1993 uh, CHP. I'm very excited to see this one. Um, this A lot of people really, really want this. So I'm hoping it is just as nice out of the package as I'm hoping. Let's see. Ooh, solid roller. Again, pretty oily, but that's okay. Nice looking light bar, I mean, for scale. I think that's pretty accurate because these things are not big vehicles. And the new, I don't know if you've ever seen the new Tahoe on the road. I'm sure you have. They're monstrous. Those wheels look fantastic. Oh, my bad, guys. I should have read the numbers. I'll read them real quick if I can. I know they're pretty much impossible to read. Uh, that was like 432 or something. Um... 1853, I think. Uh, I can't read that. 86, 34, maybe. And then this one is 5778, I believe. Um, great looking uh, piece underneath. So it's like separate piece axles, so they can do a lifted version if they need it, which is great. We did the, the push bar, it looks fantastic. I think it might have an opening hood. It's hard to tell. Let me see if I can get it open. I can't see. I think it does. It's hard to tell. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. No, nope, it doesn't. It's just the way it looks. Um, it's, what is this? 
It looks to be like the Crown Vicks. The whole front clip is a separate piece. Painted details in the back. I mean, this thing is, is light, but it feels solid. Feels durable for sure. Again, great roller. So moving on to the last one here. We have this NYPD 1997 Cherokee. I'm not an expert on Cherokee, so I have no idea what's actually accurate for the era of the year, whatever. I'm just assuming it's right. I don't know. Some people are like, oh, that's not right. The wheels are not right. Whatever. I don't care. It looks good to me. Yeah, I like those wheels. This, I think the scale on this is fantastic. So they're, they're definitely different front clips. Look a little bit different. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Pretty hard to read, but that, I mean, that's a great looking Jeep. See what the number is on this. 4138, I think. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I know, not the craziest video in the world. Um, let me just organize some of these cars here. Um, da -da -da -da. Get a nice looking view here. Bam. There we go. Well, hopefully you guys enjoy. What do you think of the uh, Hot Pursuit series? Personally, in my opinion, every single one they come out with, I'll always love it, right? Because they're licensed deliveries of real police cars. Who doesn't love that, right? And they're essentially toys at the end of the day. Kind of, sort of. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more.